Good day and welcome to Drew's Book Reviews. So today we're going to do something a little bit different. It's not going to be a book review, but rather I thought I would take some time to talk about my top five favorite science fiction book series that I have read. So if you're interested, stay tuned. That is coming right up. Okay, so my top five science fiction book series that I have read that I've personally really enjoyed and are among my top favorite science fiction book series ever. So this is in no particular order. It's no specific favorite to least favorite type rating or anything like that. Just five science fiction book series that I personally really enjoy. So to start off this list, so keeping in mind, a lot of these book series have a lot of books within their universe which makes them some pretty big series. So I'm not necessarily gonna talk about every single book within the whole series and the whole universe that's been created. But to start out, I want to talk a little bit about starting with Isaac Asimov's Foundation series. So this is a classic of science fiction and considered to be one of the best. So Foundation is basically this whole, well, it's kind of complicated. It's a galactic empire sized book series taking place in the far distant future of humanity. And there's like this psycho history, which is kind of like this scientific psychic control of history and events and this massive foundation to preserve the knowledge of humanity. And it's actually being adapted for Apple TV Plus. So I look forward to seeing that series once it comes out. And yes, I admit I got Apple TV Plus just for a foundation series when I learned it was coming out. So I'm really looking forward to seeing the adaptation of, of Harry Seldon and his foundation and Isaac Asimov's series here. I read this book series a long, long time ago, way, way back when I was still in school. And I just remember really, really loving it and thinking, wow, this is just an awesome book series. It's been so long since I've read it and I decided to buy the whole series because I hadn't previously owned it and, and eventually reread the series and then get some reviews on that. It's been a really long time since I've read it, so I definitely feel like I need a refresher on the series as a whole in terms of what it's about, what happens, and all that good stuff. And you can bet once I get to reading these books, I'm gonna be putting reviews of each foundation book up on the channel. So, you know, don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see those videos. I'm not exactly sure when I'm gonna to get to the foundation series specifically, but definitely it is in my top five of favorite all time science fiction book series ever written and it really is just awesome especially if you like those galactic empire spanning size books book series this one is really really good and definitely will be up your alley for that one you can absolutely bet <clears throat> okay so next up on my favorite science fiction book series of all time is frank herbert's dune so I'm just holding up the original five Dune books specifically, or I guess six Dune books specifically. There is a huge expanded universe within the whole Dune series that was written by his son as well. Um, so that would be these ones here if you could kind of see them, but maybe not quite. Anyway, the expanded universe by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson uh, is within the Dune series. So there actually is quite a few books within the Dune series. Now, of course, set that there for a moment. <clears throat> so Dune is another one of those galactic, far future, distant future humanity spanning galactic empire type books, but what's book series, but what's really awesome about Dune is it's, it's not really just about science fiction. So it's one of those book series that, and uses science fiction as a medium to tell a bigger story and have a, grander and larger philosophical discussion about what it means to be human, what the purpose of humanity is, the politics, the intrigue, exploring the very nature of humanity through this expansive Dune universe, which is just phenomenally well done. Frank Herbert's Dune is by far probably one of the best science fiction book series ever written. And I absolutely love it. And I'm really looking forward to seeing the new Dune movie whenever comes made available uh, to see, you could bet that I will be watching it. Dune, Frank Herbert's Dune is just so expansive and so 
amazingly large in scope and detail and everything is just really, really amazing about the way he tells the story, the way he uses the science fiction medium to explore what it means to be human, explore ideas of politics, religion, psychology, so deeply embedded within the Dune universe. Now, a lot of fans out there, you know, they really don't like the expanded universe by Brian Herbert and the Dune world. And I gotta be honest, I don't really get the criticism so much. Uh, you know, it's Brian Herbert is not Frank. He's a different writer. He's got his different style and his own unique approach. And you know, I'll, I'll admit, I don't think that the expanded universe books by Brian Herbert are necessarily as good as the original Frank Herbert's Dune. But regardless of that, I still really enjoy the expanded universe. I still think the Dune universe in general is an awesome universe and I really enjoy reading books in the Dune universe. Whether they're written by Frank or Brian Herbert, it really doesn't matter to me. I find that I'm enjoying them all. I guess I just struggle to understand why so many people don't enjoy the expanded universe or feel that it's just not as good as the original uh, or, you know, criticize it and say well you know it's not really part of that but anyway i digress dune overall by far one of my favorites of science fiction and definitely a book series that is well worth looking into especially if you're a science fiction fan even if you're not a science fiction fan well worth it because there's so much more to it it's not just the science fiction it's everything that goes on within these books the politics the psychology the commentary on religious ideals and the struggle for survival and everything about it the seeking the perfection to be the perfect being everything within it is just amazing absolutely love it and by far easily my top favorite book series i will do some dune videos eventually i am looking at going back and doing a reread of the series eventually so i hope to get some dune reviews at some point on this channel i just don't really know when yet but it is planned so it is something i intend to do at some point in any case and of course one collection of book series or one book series that i would have to include on this list is of course the hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy by douglas adams a trilogy in five parts if you haven't read The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, you have got to read this book series. It is absolutely hilarious. It's a lighthearted, fun, entertaining take on, well, science fiction in general. And Douglas Adams is absolutely hilarious. This book is nonsensical. It doesn't make sense. It's all over the place. There's all kinds of crazy humor and adventures. The gist of it, Arthur Dent's house is being demolished at the same time the planet's being demolished, all to make way for or in freeway, which is hilarious concept in general. And Douglas Adams does an amazing job of making you laugh through the entire series as we encounter all kinds of crazy stuff from the improbability drive to a sperm whale whose first and final thoughts, he goes into detailed description of what that is. I'm not going to spoil it for you, um, but it was absolutely hilarious reading that. We got Marvin the depressed android. <laughs> I'm just laughing thinking about it. This is a hilarious book. And like, honestly, if you have not read The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, you really need to go and check that out. Douglas Adams is absolutely hilarious. A trilogy in five parts. Mostly, it's mostly harmless. And of course, don't forget your towel while you're reading it and don't panic. Speaking of towel, they'll tell you all about the towel. I'm not gonna spoil it. If you haven't read it, go read it. You'll learn all about, all about why, why towels are important and why you should always have a towel with you. Uh, <laughs> but in any case, this is where we get the number 42. You've probably heard about that and how 42 is just one of those numbers. Um, lots of science fiction shows, lots of shows have kind of paid tribute to it. Looking at the X-Files where Mulder ha lives in apartment 42. And there was this alien invasion movie he liked to watch. He was asked at one point on the show how many times he's seen it. He commented 42 times. So even in pulp culture, there are references to the Hitchhiker's Guide, in particular the number 42. Now, if you don't know the significance of the number 42, it's one more reason why you really need to go and read this book. This is hilarious. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, by far one of my favorite science fiction books. Again, something I don't think I've actually done a review for on the channel. I think I need to maybe look at doing that and doing a review of The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I'm sure I'll get to it eventually, but I've got a lot of books on my shelf to read. 
I'm not sure when I'll get around to it, but definitely I will get to the Hitchhiker's Guide eventually as far as review, and I really should do that. Oh, I really should. Maybe I'll try and get to it this year. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see what happens. But anyway, definitely check Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy out. Just, just hilarious. It, it's a ride from start to finish. Well worth your time. I promise you that. Okay, so moving on to the next set of books on my favorite science fiction series that I have read is I decided to go with the Hyperion Cantos by Dan Simmons. Now, I was actually torn between this, honestly, and Red Rising right here. But I decided to go with the Hyperion Cantos because at the end of the day, the Hyperion Cantos I just find is a, a bigger, more vast universe in terms of what is it about. It spoke this pilgrimage of five different people and how all their lives intersect into one great grand story. Uh, there were some parts of the book. Uh, if I were to put this in the least, uh, least favorite of all five of these book series I'm talking about today, that would probably be a pretty accurate statement. I, I definitely would think it would be at the bottom of that pile. Not because it isn't good. The Hyperion Cantos by Dan Simmons is pretty awesome overall. There were some things I didn't quite like too much about it. But, well, you can check out my reviews on the channel for these ones. These ones I definitely have book reviews on. The Hyperion Cantos. So check out my channel for that under the Science Fiction playlist. But uh, the Hyperion Cantos is kind of this, this big far future setting as well. Again, we have this galactic empire for kind of sensing a theme here between Dune Foundation and the Hyperion Cantos. I really like these books that have this galactic scope of an empire or some form of galactic civilization and government involved in the, in the books and the overall story. The key element of the Hyperion Cantos is this Shrike, which is like this time traveling monster that travels through time and a lot of what's going on in the Hyperion Cantos is talking about the integration of the church and the civilization and religion and the intersection of it all into this grand epic story. Definitely it really seems to be a commentary on religion in general uh, which is really interesting kind of this twisted darker form of religion that comes out in the writing of with Dan Simmons books. And I really enjoyed that. And I thought that was really well done overall, despite some criticisms I have of the book and some particular aspects of the series. But again, check out my review for that. I do have a review for the Hyperion Cantos on my channel here. So definitely check that out. And overall, Hyperion Cantos really is just a good, good read and a good set of books overall. And I really did enjoy them and I really do like them. And I might get back to doing a reread of them at some point, but definitely not something I'm definitely thinking about doing in the near future, but I might get back to it at some point. And finally, lastly, we have a book series that I think will always have a special place in my heart. Uh, and that is Ender's Game Universe or Ender's Game series. Uh, this is a book that I read as a child in junior high, I believe it was, or maybe it was early high school. I don't remember. It was sometime in that time frame. And I absolutely fell in love with the Ender's Game story. This story about a child who was bred to be this super intelligent child for the sole purpose of being this war leader against this hostile alien force that was determined to wipe out humanity. But things just aren't what they seem within this book. So one thing that I think is really important with this is Orson Scott Card managed to capture the essence of child psychology and warfare. Something that I really, really enjoyed in the way that he wrote this book and the way that he explored these issues and the effects of war on the psychology of a child and putting children through this wartime training in this battle school. And overall, I just thought it was really good book and I still think it's a really good book. Now admittedly I don't enjoy Orson Scott Card's works as much as I used to. I do find that his books outside of the Enderverse are just not as good and even some of the books within the Enderverse just aren't as good as I remember Ender's Game being and the more I've learned about Orson Scott Card the more I see philosophically we differ in opinion uh, and his and I'm seeing more of his philosophies throughout his some of his writings so I don't think I'm going to be reading Orson Scott Card in the future and kind of past as far as him as a writer 
goes, but this particular book, Ender's Game, I think will always have that special place in my heart because it is a book that I absolutely grew to love and still love to this day. And I would say it is easily my favorite Orson Scott card book and nothing I've read by him seems to have lived up to the awesomeness or the epicness that or the love that I have for this particular book. But I will always love Ender's Game even if I don't always love Orson Scott card as an author or as a writer himself. But absolutely, by far, Ender's Game will always have that special place in my heart. I love this book and I think that I always will. So there you have it. There are five of my favorite science fiction book series that I personally have read. So, you know, I hope you liked this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And also don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Have you read any of these books? What do you think? Are any of these in your favorite science fiction books? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, you know, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You could follow me on, on Twitter and Instagram primarily. I do have a Discord if you want to join me in there. Links for all that, of course, will be in the description below. I do have a Patreon if you want to support this channel in that way as well. Um, absolutely no obligation with that. But if you want to support this channel in that way and help me get some better equipment to do my videos with, that would be greatly appreciated as well. I, all support is appreciated. So thank you so much for watching. And of course, uh, you know, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you next time on the next episode of Drew's Book Reviews. Until then, keep on reading. Bye.